there. Thank you for joining us in this session. As you can see, we already have some Mod Podge on our brush. Thank you so much for hanging out with us in this session of some empty chair therapy. We're looking at a little blue. This is the turquoise. It's reminding me of the Visuddha Chakra. I've been working on that, especially this past year. What to say, what not to say, when to say it, how to say it. So much more. Colors help. So does sound. Singing. Listening. To music. In nature, those are some of the cards I've been playing to help keep my Visuddha chakra clear, flowing. So let's see. I had some help again today. partner helping with the pieces. God bless it. It's not too late. Right. I mean, it's Mod Podge. In the end, it's fairly forgiving. I mean, for the most part, you know, tissue paper, it tears. Thank you, whoever said, what about the other side? I'm picking up what you're laying down. Thank you. this point, that is what that is. I gotta let that flow. Trust the process. It's all gonna play out beautifully. Even if I don't know how yet. That's all right. Kind of like so much that emerges like spring or the sun in a day or life in all its various forms.
I'm really blessed for a chance to revisit things with Mercury retrograde and Taurus. Talk about the losing your voice, your throat chakra, Mercury the messenger. How much that's changed for all of us through the years. Whoopsie. Checking to make sure there's no overthrow that might get on the blue. So, yeah, noticing how much shift there has been and celebrating that growth, that evolution. And it, all these ways that plays out. Learning how to rebirth ideas into the ether plane using your voice. Seeking and sharing truths or becoming secretive, hidden, alone in knowledge. I mean, sometimes that's necessary, right? Boundaries. You want to keep certain cards close to your chest. Boundaries. But then other times, it's like, you want to be able to express with other people in our communities, because that's part of the fun. I was going to jump into the white, but perhaps I'll keep this short and start the white in a second because time is of the essence. Or do I just go on? I mean, what do you think? I'm here. All right, let me know. I'm going to keep going. And so we have the white. I wanted to lay down another coat. There's a little blue. I don't know if you can see it that bled through. So I'm thinking maybe the white will assist with that. So let me put my base coat on first. apologize my mumbling and then extra background noise you know we live in a community they're doing some work in the flat next door and whatever else is happening in this Interesting. Just going to let that sit for a spell. Over here, over here, over here. Right, I didn't put glue down all the way over there.
are laying it down. No, you didn't. Yes, you did. Maybe that gets cut. Not quite yet. Oopsie, I don't want to take the scissors to this. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. We're prepared. Yeah. So the Visuddha Chakra, learning how to share, so you can share my truth kindly. Orphans and adoptees, you feel me, and so many others with parallel situations, like speaking your truth, it's a whole thing. Especially in places where you've been discouraged from doing so. So developing the capacity and courage to speak up. And on top of making amends for tripping, hurting people, places, things. So how to do that? Voice is involved. I know. Big hugs to you all in parallel boats. On the healing path. Those of you thinking about it, those of you on the other side of the fence. I've been there in different ways, not to minimize your experience, just to relate a little bit. Thank you for being so courageous, building that capacity to be so courageous and Learning how to keep speaking your truth as it keeps unfolding. Because we keep changing, right? Oh my god. We're not even the same people we were. I mean, in some ways, but in other ways. Like maybe we've tempered, tempered, tempered our temper. 
where we have more mastery over that, our emotions. Our needs and wants and desires have shifted as we shift through time and space. And so does our voice. A lot to say. I've been doing some throat chakra work. Some I can share and others is perhaps for later. Right? Boundaries. This is interesting. I think I need to just finish that and I'll come around again, maybe snip that. No, maybe it needs to go down because I see there's the blue that I was trying to cover, the blue that bled. So let me bring it down a little more. Close to the magnetic hour. Some of you familiar with Paramahansa Yogananda and the Self Realization Fellowship lessons may have heard about that. Maybe you heard about it from somewhere else. But there's a couple times a day that are fun to access positive space to do your daily ritual, yoga, meditation, whatever that looks like for you. And we're coming up on that hour in my neck of the woods. There's like four, five times a day to tap in to some beautiful magnetics just to help play, play. Right? Because it is the whole thing to do yoga and meditate. It keeps evolving, kind of like the voice. Every day it's a little different. to the edge. Okay, stopping. Thank you so much for joining us. Help break life into adoption spirit magic. Totally be grateful. Until next time. Ciao for now. I love you all.